All right, we're going to talk about Big Brothers, Big Sisters in my next segment here. Uh, this is Karen Brar, Community Liaison for the local Big Brothers, Big Sisters organization. And there's a big bowling tournament coming up we're going to talk about in just a bit. But first, welcome. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. I, we were chatting during the break there about how you became involved with Big Brothers Big Sisters. Would you share that with everyone? Absolutely. I, I've got two little ones that I wanted to show what, you know, philanthropy is and giving really means. Uh, so I got involved as a supporter and, uh, you know, I wanted to set up a, a meeting with Diane Pekonicom, the director, uh, executive director there. Never got a hold of her to bring my girls in, but one day I thought, you know, I'm just going to pop in there. So after about talking to Diane for about an hour, she had me in tears. <laughs> <laughs> she <And> got you. <laughs> she hooked me. She hooked me. So after that, I got involved in the, the more I saw, the more I wanted to get involved, yeah. and uh, it's a wonderful organization. Well, obviously, we don't have an hour here, but what did she say to you in that hour that, that, that got to you? You know, it's stories. Uh, it's about hearing life, real life stories about children. Um, Can you share any of those stories? Um, well, I'll give you kind of just an overview. Um, one, one was uh, this little, uh, so they've got bigs that mentor, the mentor and the mentees, a little. And uh, she talked about one where he was so excited and said, you know what, I my big took me somewhere this weekend. And she said, we were so excited and we're asking him, you know, where? And he said, well, it was a huge warehouse. It was full of stuff and then they gave you food on top of it so I just thought oh my gosh uh, then other you know stories that I really can't share but it, they're really heartfelt and honestly for an hour she had me in tears it really resonated with me and having two little ones of my own it's children need uh, good mentors good models you know who doesn't want to grow up to be like their parent and if you've got a parent who's incarcerated uh, that that I bless their heart, they're going to say, you know, and I've heard it, my sisters are teachers, and, and she said, you know, I've got an elementary school teacher, um, that's a sister of mine, she said that, you know, we ask, oh, what do you want to do when you grow up, and they'll say, oh, well, I'm going to collect welfare, or, and these things come out of our children's mouths, you know, so, um, and like I said, bless their heart, who doesn't look up to their parents, so these kids need positive role models. Um, to show them that they've got other possibilities, and to yeah, you don't them. want to grow up to be on welfare. Give them a they give them a good goal. They don't. They don't yeah. understand. Yeah. Um, they don't. That's all they know That's at that all point. They know. Yep. So until somebody shows them differently. Until someone shows them differently. Yeah. So who who can be a big brother or a big sister? Obviously, you have to have a clean criminal record. I'm guessing. Uh, um, yes, uh, you do. We do full background checks. Um, we've got uh, anyone in, in ninth grade. I believe that's 14, 15 years of age and older. We've got. Uh, a high school bigs program where we have the high school uh, kids volunteer and they commit for a year and they uh, you know come and spend time with a little uh, someone in elementary school for that year after school um, we also have community uh, programs where we've got community uh, you know citizens from our community volunteer to take on um, uh, a little or lunch buddies where somebody just says you know what I'd like to spend uh, an hour uh, a week uh, you know, having lunch with this little. It just makes a huge impact for this little one to know that there is somebody that they can um, count on, someone that shows up every single time and is committed to them. So, it makes, you know, as adults, I mean, I think um, I have issues. I need a hug once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I can't imagine uh, what these little ones go through where they don't have a parent around. So yeah. it's huge, huge. Uh, and I, I think it's the best place to give. Now, how much of a time commitment are you asking of these volunteers? Once a week, once a month? Uh, once once or, tw you know, once every couple of weeks. So you can work this out uh, yeah. between you and the, the little that you're mentoring. Yeah. I'm betting once they get involved, they probably want to do it more than they originally uh, they planned do. to, right? Yes, they do. I think that putting out increase uh, is something that we all long for. And whenever we feel that we're making a difference in someone's life, uh, gosh, it, it's innate in our nature to, yeah. to feel that we're doing something. I'm wondering, though, is it hard on the, the children involved in this program when, when their mentor leaves? 
I, I mean, they've come to depend on this person yes, week after yeah, week. We, we do. That's especially with high school um, uh, children that volunteer. We we ask them, you know, that it, it will affect them the days that you don't show up. They're looking for you. Um, so you do have situations like that. But uh, in the long run, uh, most people, you'd be amazed, uh, do stick around. And, and some of these relationships last a lot, a, a lifetime. I was going to say, I bet they do turn into lifetime Absolutely. friendships. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. The big bowl for kids sake Yay. event you have coming up. Let's talk about that. Yes. We have a uh, big bowl for kids. It's, it's our 29th. Uh, Hawaiian theme, lots of fun, lots of prizes, uh, best dressed competition. <laughs> Everybody, uh, the community is wonderful. And uh, we do promote healthy uh, community competition. It just does something for the, the fun level of it. Everybody gets a little more involved uh, for corporations. It's great for team building, employee morale. So uh, we encourage it. Uh, we are having a, an event all the way from Visalia, Hanford, Fresno, we've got two events coming on April 2nd. Uh, Visalia is uh, April 16th, Hanford April 17th, uh, Madeira is April 9th, and Clovis is March 19th. So I would encourage everyone to get involved. Uh, it's more than just bowling. It takes about $1,000 for us to really maintain a match to get a, a person you know, um, screened and get them involved with this and, and monitor it. So we would love the support. Our, uh, you know, they they started out with a couple of hundred kids. Now we're up to a thousand children that we're serving. So it's a really good problem. But at the same time, we need community uh, support. Yeah. And now, are the kids out there bowling, or is it teams absolutely. raising money for the kids? Some, some people don't choose to bowl, where they say, you know, I'll go ahead and sponsor kids to bowl. There are plenty of kids, you know, that, that are waiting uh, to bowl, sure. and they can't afford to pay the fee. So if we have somebody step up and say, I'd love to do this, uh, absolutely. But there are also teams of adults that uh, will bowl so and donate yes, money. We have. Uh, big retailers involved, big businesses here in the, the uh, community that are, are uh, involved. And, oh, yeah, we're all a bunch of kids once we're there. <laughs> it's amazing time. So where's the, where's the Fresno one? Uh, Fresno one, it's going to be AMF, Sierra AMF, Lanes. Uh -huh. right. Blackstone uh, and Sierra. Yep, and then Clovis, AMF, Rodeo Lanes, and Valley Bowl in Madeira, uh, AMF, uh, uh, Visalia, uh, lanes in Visalia and then Kings County Bowl for Hanford. Okay. Is, on, on the Big Brothers website, is there a, a list of all those places and the times and information? Absolutely. And then I believe we've got a little link. Uh, it's under bigs.cantera.org. I, I believe he's got it on the screen. So very easy to sign up. Just click on there and it'll guide you through. It's a very simple form. Uh, you can use it to uh, get donations as well. You can put it on social media. Super fun uh, and easy way to, to collect donations. That awesome. Way, so. mm -hmm. All right. Well, Karen, okay. thanks for coming in and sharing with us today. Thank you. Anything you want to add before we go? No. Okay. Support our children, you know, regardless of whether you're coming from here or uh, just a logical linear thinker, it's they, they are the ones who are going to step into our community and uh, affect our community. Tomorrow. They're our future. So yeah. They are our future. And uh, so put, put our hearts into it, I think. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Karen Brar, yes. Big Brothers, Big Sisters Thank you. in Central California. Thank you so much. We'll be back with more on Central California or Central Valley Talk.